Lots of, for years and years and years, a lot of bitter families. They took father against son, brothers against brothers, and the, the, I guess the biggest hurt was the people that uh, had them issues. And they carried, they carried on, you still hear, you still hear, I mean, even all these years later, you still hear it brought up. My mom and my dad made it extremely uncomfortable. My dad would tell me how much I needed to go back to work, but yet he go out and spend money hand over fist. You know, I, <laughs> it was just the way it was. Uh, Uncle Don got a job with the school board right away. So he didn't really, you know, he didn't really, but Don and I still talked. I mean, we still talk to each other. And we had the same sentiments about some of the people. And some of the people that went back in, we actually, we had a mutual friend who went back in, but his wife was sick. You know, and some of the people went back in, nobody said, didn't care. You know, they went back to work, they were uh, humble or weren't classy. They said they were sorry, but they had to do it. It was a choice they had to make, and that's fine. My choice not to go back in was pretty much the same. It was my choice. I couldn't do it. And I probably do not regret that to this day. It was tough, but I don't regret it. But yeah, it, it busted up families. And it busted them up bad. And mine wasn't the only one. See, my my whole family worked down there at one time. It was when you worked at Clinton Corn, it was almost like a family. My dad had worked there at one mm -hmm. time. I had brothers that worked at, down there. I had brother-in-laws mm -hmm. that worked down there. I had nephew. a nephew, uh, and my one brother was a supervisor down there, and they, shortly after, uh, we all had got fired and stuff like this, they wanted him to treat people different, mm -hmm. and he says, no, he says, he says, you've let a lot of good people go. Mm -hmm. And I had heard later on that they wanted to bring some of the people back, but they, the union says either you take them all back. See, they didn't want the, the uh, people that was on the executive board or on the union board, they didn't want them back. But they said if either you take them all back or none at all. Well, mm -hmm. they never, that's how it was. We never mm -hmm. was able to go back then that way. You gotta have unions for the balance of power, but they've gotta be sharper than they are. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't like about unions. For example, uh, uh, I wanted, wanted to have a, a uh, candidate's night at a local establishment, and one of the union guys said, we can't go there. He's uh, anti-union. I said, well, that's kind of that's kind of why we are in the boat we're in. You know, it's retribution and revenge and small thinking, both ways. So I, I can remember one time, and there was a German guy that was working down there. I knew he was, uh, and he came up to me one time. It was at uh, Riverboat Days. And he says to me, he says, Larry, he says, you know something? He says, we, we let you down. I'll never forget it. Sorry. No, you But, you know, you, you, got, you just got to go on. Mm -hmm. But I, I went ahead and seen this here. And I, you know, I never forget that. I can recall one time after ADM took over, there was a guy by the name of Myers and who went down to the city council. I happened to be there that night. And they were trying to get uh, truck traffic in there along Liberty, which was a poor residential area just adjacent to Clinton Corn. And uh, 
He even threatened the council. By cracky, he said, I still remember. By cracky, you better let us have truck traffic. And of course, if I'd have been on the council, I'd have said, you're out of here. Come back when you've got a little more decorum about you. But they didn't <clears throat> They didn't uh, bother with that sort of thing. And, and the council was obviously afraid. And they didn't need to be afraid because Clinton Foods ADM had to be here for the process, the uh, corn, you know, made into ethanol and syrup and alcohol, and and the one thing they needed most of all was water. So they weren't going to leave Clinton, Iowa. But that has the Mississippi, it has the Lincoln Highway, the Highway 30, uh, and we have nine artesian wells. 